Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Uh, today is January 3rd, 2019. I can't believe it's the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I have a few things to share, not a whole lot today. Um, I'm going to talk about, I have one finish. I have a few new starts, two new starts, um, which are going to kind of link into my 2019 plan. So I'm kind of going to go over that all in full as much as I know right now anyway. And... Yeah, that's about it. And then, of course, I'll have a board game at the end if you're interested in that. Stick around. Um, my first finish of 2019, I had really, really hoped that I was going to finish this on New Year's Eve, but I did not quite make it. I showed this last time as a new start, I believe. Um, let me... I think that's the right way. Um... This is French Poppy off of Daily Cross Stitch. I am going to use it as a topper on this half pint jelly jar um, as a pin cushion. Um, there is my 2019 orts already. Um, a lot of that is just kind of, before you think I've, I've stitched that much, I haven't. A lot of this is just kind of like the fraying off of um, a piece of linen that I'm working with in my new start. So it's not... It's not as impressive as it looks. A lot of that whitish color in there is from that. Um, there is a place for a little label here, so I'm actually thinking about doing a little cross-stitch word orts or something like that to put there, um, and then just putting it on with double-sided tape. But my first my first goal is... Oops, that's the back. Sorry about that. My first goal... Cat's shaking the camera. <laughs> my first goal is to get this pincushion part done, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Um... So yeah, that's my, that's my first sort of 2019. Um, now, my new starts. That's the only thing I've worked on other than new starts this week, so this past week. So I haven't pulled out any of my older stuff. Um, so yeah, um, my first new start is the Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler. Um, that's the first piece of it. I am not super far on it. Um, my goal right now is to do like one strand of thread a day. So I have the first two days. I am, at least for this first part, using DMC 3809. It's this really pretty blue color. I love it. Um, and I had originally just thought I was going to do it all in black because the, the past two band samplers would have been fantastic in black. And this probably would have worked. But when I saw that the first piece was a peacock, I was like, no, I need to go through my my threads. So I, um, I have... Four, I think, pulled out. I, I should have shared those, but I did not, did not unpack them. So there is my very, very minuscule to start. Um, the crown on the peacock's head will come up just a little bit further. Um, and then, of course, I still have the body and the tail. So I'm not super far on that. But, yeah, I'm going to try to work along with that as the year goes on. Um, this is my first time doing a, a winning some thread. Actually, it's my first time doing a mystery stitch along at all. And really, unless you count, like, Nano Stitch Mo, my first time ever doing a sow. So, I'm excited about that. So, that's my first 2019 plan. Uh, my second one is I am going to try to do the, on the, the Heaven or Hade Stitch Talk Challenge page. They're doing the Around the World Challenge, where you have to do so many stitches over the course of the year. I think it's about 53,000. Um, so that seems a little insane to me, but I'm trying because I mean, why not? It, it doesn't, you know, if I, if I give up, I give up, but I'm going to use this freebie piece, um, that I think it's still available on the website. I will link, um, it is, um, Old St. Nick, um, and I'm doing actually a cropped version of it where it's going to be rectangle and it's just going to kind of come down, um, between the, the ball on his cap and the antlers there and kind of crop out his face and a little bit of his coat um or crop in I guess um so yeah that's that's my plan for that it's going to be about I think it's 203 stitches by 300 stitches um my cropped version of it um plus it'll be just easier to frame a rectangle than a than an oval so I'm 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 looking forward to that. I am about, let me see, I did the first leg, which is 470 stitches. Finished that up yesterday afternoon, right before I, um, dinner. And then after dinner, I worked on a little bit more and did about 170 stitches. So 640 stitches, I think, is where I'm at. Um, 
So yeah, I mean that's 300 stitches a day. If I if I kept up with that pace, I would have my part. I mean my thing would be done halfway through. But I don't think I'm gonna keep up with that pace because, um, sorry the cat is on the table. You need to get down. No, no. There's something there that she's interested in. Um, so yeah, second plan. I'm probably gonna do the other challenges over there too. Um, the hundred days of hate. Um, I will work on the, the mini summer that I'm, I've shown a couple of times. Um, so that's going to be, I think, my choice for those two. Um, I do, I think, yeah, I, I can't remember. Probably all of them other than, than the, the main one. I'm going to use that one just so I can get some progress done on that one as well. Um, and then, oh, yeah, let me show you the, the progress I've made. I knew I was forgetting something. So... This is it so far, kind of the wall behind his, behind his head, um, so, yeah, that's 640 stitches, and that's, you know, it's just on 18 count, 8 o cloth, nothing fancy, but for full coverage, I like 8 o cloth, um, well, I say that, this is the first time I've done 8 on full coverage, I've got Hardinger for one of the ones I'm doing, the the mini summer one and then the other one I'm doing on 28 count even weave so yeah um so those two things doing the hay challenges or the stitch talk challenges um is one of my plans as far as I can go um doing that mystery stitch along for linens and threads I'll make sure to, to link both of those projects down in the in the description box and then Stitch Mania, um, some of their monthly challenges, I want to do at least one a month just to kind of um, have fun with, with some of those. Um, so, New Year, New Start. I'm actually using the Peacock um, Stitch Along things. Peacock's Garden, I think, is the name of it. Um, using that as my my New Year, New Start project. Um I'm trying to think. There's like a monthly, there's like four monthly challenges every month. Um, there's also like some of them are Christmas and Halloween related. And I am going to try to use the Christmas one each month um, to kind of dictate a little bit about what kind of ornament I make. Because I'd mentioned I wanted to try to get through um, some of those fabric remnants that I have um, and do the, the ornament pieces. Um, ornaments. And like the first one's Christmas Carol. I'm doing one that's... Um, uh, it's called Oh Come Let Us Adore Him. It's from the 2018, I believe. Um, just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Edition thing. So, um, I'll show that with you when I get to it. But that's my plan, is to do that. I'm still working on that Let It Snow piece by the Country Cartage Needleworks. It's, it's, like I said, I haven't worked on anything other than those, those three projects that you just saw. Oh, and let me, <laughs> the, the, um... The poppy, the French poppy. I, um, oh, focus is going wonky again. There we go. Um, the French poppy I worked on on New Year's Eve. Like I said, I was really hoping for a New Year's Eve finish on that. And I was watching, um, YouTube, um, watching some floss tube videos while I stitched. My, my husband and daughter were in the other room playing video games, so I took I took advantage of having the, the the time to just sit and stitch it and watch some, just catch up on some of that. There's so many videos coming out right now, guys. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> but, um, so I was watching Jessie Marie doing her whip parade. And she had mentioned, if you're stitching, um, post a picture on Instagram and tag her with, um, with your progress. Well, I don't have Instagram, so, um, I, I'll go ahead and just post a picture in here just for fun, um, on, on the progress I made. Um, and then I continued working on it after, um, after. So I'll show you what I managed to get done New Year's Eve. I was probably less than 50 stitches away from finishing on New Year's Day, but I was, it was like 1.30 in the morning by the time I put it down and I was just exhausted. So, um, didn't quite, didn't quite get my finish, and I probably, if I would have persisted, could have gotten it done. I mean, technically, it would have been New Year's Day anyway, so I just didn't, I didn't worry too much about it. Um, and then my last plan, I kind of touched on this a little bit in my last video, is um, for Christmas, I gave all of my family members a choice, or a bunch of my family members a choice of um, what 
cross stitch they would like me to stitch for them because there's a lot of work that goes in it. My family understands this at least, but um, when I stitch something for them, I just decided I really want it to be something that they love because I have stitched in the past. I mean, something that just really wasn't as much their style as I thought it was going to be. So this this gave them gave them some options. And so right now I have I have. 11 I had forgot um, my sister-in-law I'm still waiting on so I do have 12 for the whole year um, so one a month ish um, we don't celebrate our family Christmas um, usually until after Christmas on the 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 off years that we can't be there for Christmas so um, it's usually our somewhere around the New Year's Day weekend I know New Year's Day is going to be like right smack dab in the middle of the week so I don't know how exactly it's going to work it's going to again depend on my husband's call schedule and what his co-worker wants and what they decide to do but um so I'll show you now what they've if they picked I'm still waiting on my sister-in-law so um that might be that might be next next week I'll go ahead once I know I'll share um but that's the only one, and I didn't wasn't able to tell her about it until New Year's. So um, it, it's <laughs> it's just been kind of a crazy couple of weeks. But um, this is the one that my mother chose. Um, it's called the Doctors. Um, we're trying to decide still how. I don't know why it doesn't seem to be focusing. Let's see if I get it a little bit further away. Um, we're trying to decide still um, which. Which doctor she wants. She definitely watched the, um, you know, up until Sylvester McCoy. Um, and she's watched some sense, so she's trying to decide where she wants to cut it off at. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it and put the TARDIS on the left side of it. And then we can just put a row out. Um, I can start working on it that way and put a row out of how many doctors she wants. Because if I start with the doctors, I didn't need no spacing and all of that to put the TARDIS on the right. So, so we're going to adjust that a little bit. So there's that one. My dad. Oh, and that is Wee Little Stitches. Um, I do have, I put this on here, the, the bottom, the, the name of the pattern. I don't know why I'm not getting any focuses. The name of the pattern, the shop, and then how big it is so that when I'm looking for fabrics and stuff, and all of that, I can kind of be like, okay, well, that's, I don't have to keep looking up the pattern. It's just all on this sheet. So this is Mushroom House by Lola Lotta Shop. Um, yeah, it's cute. Um, he, he actually was telling me that he really liked all of the choices I gave him, but he knows where he's going to put this. So that was his decision. He's already got a spot for this one. So that was, that was his decision. Um, I mentioned that my sister picked a really easy one. Um, <laughs> welcome, please leave by nine. <laughs> She's uh, definitely a, an early the bed kind of person. Very opposite of me who stays up very often until one or two o'clock in the morning. Um, this is by Banana Stand. Um, all of these are Etsy shops, so um, you should be able to find them. I will link all of these down below too, just so you can find them. Um, and it's it's really small it's it's 56 by 57 but if you can tell it's not i mean it's it's about as far away from full coverage as you can get so so there's that one um her husband chose oh excuse me saguaro national park by awesome pattern studio um just a guy on horseback in the amongst the saguaros um so, yeah, I'm probably just going to, I think I'm going to stitch this on 22 count. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think that's going to end up being a good size. My brother chose, you can certainly try by Vel Stitchery. Um, this is actually kind of a funny story. We, the gaming group that I help organize, um, and, and my brother is, is one of the other organizers and then my, my um, youngest sister. Um, also, um, we, we brought her in later, but when we started running a convention, because she has local ties to the place that we run the convention at, um, it just made sense to, to, to put her in as an admin as well. Um, but anyway, we did our Christmas party and one of the Dirty Santa gifts was one of the members had cross-stitched this piece. I had already chosen my, um, my thoughts on what my brother might like um and so when he saw that when the, the guy opened it he was like 
I need this. <laughs> I need this. And I wonder how much it influenced his decision because as soon as he saw it, he's like, this is the piece. <laughs> this is the one I want. So, but yeah, it'll be fun. I just thought that was funny. The guy that, that cross-stitched it is actually a new stitcher um, and did an amazing job on it. It looks really awesome. He did some um, conversions where he did some purple on the lettering. So it kind of had an ombre effect where it went from purple to black on the lettering, which was really cool. And, and I think his wife told me he was not able to be there that night. He had to work. But his wife told me that I think he'd been stitching for like a month, less than a month. So that's awesome. I'm I'm really excited. I was so excited to see that. I'm really excited to see him so I can talk to him about it because um like I said, he wasn't there that night. But yeah, this is this is the one that my brother chose. Um I think I mentioned it's a Vel stitchery. Um his wife chose Cute Craft Sewing Art Room. <laughs> so that's a mouthful. It is by Fuzzy Fox Designs. Um, I think Jerry at Yankee Creek Stitcher, is that the right name? Um, just mentioned that she's working on this as well. It's kind of in her, it was in her whip parade. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. I'm looking forward to all of them. I kind of picked these with things, like I said, that I thought I might like to stitch. Um, then my youngest brother chose Dragon Cross Stitch by Valenti, I think is the name of it. Um. That's, that's awesome. I think he felt so bad because he picked one of the larger ones. Like I said, the biggest ones I had was, um, 200 by 200 full coverage. This is about 170. This is the only one that actually doesn't give a stitch count. Um, so I think this is, I've got 170-ish by 170-ish is my measurement because I went and, and took, it said that it was a certain size on certain counts. So I just went in and tried to figure out what that was going to calculate to stitch wise. So there's that. Um, that'll be fun to stitch up to. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Um, and then his wife chose King Valiant's Castle by Clouds Factory. Uh, I don't know. I gotta work with this focusing thing, I think. Um, that's so adorable. Um, I had put in some Game of Thrones stuff, and she's like, I really want it, but with the last season coming up, I'm not sure that I'm still going to want it, so, so she chose this one because, you know, it's adorable. And then my youngest sister, this is called Night Fury Dragon, and it is all perfect patterns, um, so she is a big fan of the How to Train Your Dragon books, and she has a black cat with green eyes. Um, named Toothless, so um, this was perfect. I didn't find a pattern for, for Toothless that I really, really loved. Um, and, I mean, I know part of that is copyright stuff and all of that. So, so there is that. But um, I'm, I'm hoping with some modifications that we can make this one work. I, I don't know. Um, and then we have, we have family members that are like family members, but they're not really related to us. Um, by blood, but they, they come to a lot of our family functions and stuff, and this was, these were the couple that I was still waiting on, um, I'm having a really hard time with focus here, guys, I'm sorry, this is, um, Star Wars Dogfight, um, Awesome Patterns, Pattern Studio, it is the same size as the Saguaro National Forest Home Company, um, but yeah, he plays Star Wars X-Wing, which is a little miniature kind of, um, game it's kind of fun i i've played it once or twice uh, miniature games aren't really my thing but yeah i i saw this and i thought well that was going to be perfect and yeah that's the one he chose and then his wife <laughs> um she's the only one who did not pick one off of her sheet um she chose one off of my sister's which is the princess bride this one is also by wee little stitches i looked i own this pattern already i looked and i could not find it in their Etsy shop, so I'm either not doing a search right or it's not in there anymore. But yeah, I'm I've had this pattern since 2012, maybe, and I haven't stitched up. The only wee little stitches I've done is the Bob and Doug McKenzie one that I did for my husband that I showed in um kind of my 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 box of finished objects po um post a while back. So yeah, that's that's what they've chosen. I'm still waiting on my my um, sister-in-law, um, but like I said, she's only had a couple of days, 
and I just sent her some links. I don't even know if she's had a chance to look at them. So yeah, that's my 2019 plans there in a nutshell, um, is, is to, to do all the stitching. That's, that's what we do, right? Is we make all these big plans and, <laughs> and then just see how long it takes us to fail. But that's okay. Um, that's, that's what we do and it's good. Um, so my board game, um, is called Cockroach Poker. Um, this is a fun little bluffing game um and it's it's really simple you can play this with young kids kids are great at, at bluffing um it's it's kind of scary to be honest but there are a bunch of cards um and they have pictures of different animals and bugs and stuff like that so we've got a toad um of course i picked another po toad of a cockroach because it is called cockroach poker and of course i just dropped everything because i am super uber talented um i think i showed you let's see oh of course everything's all messed up now there's a fly there's spider uh they're pretty cute little art um art there and they're all different like all of the flies are a little different all of the spiders the bats are all drawn different so every card i believe has unique artwork on it um and then on the back of the cards it just shows you so there's eight different types and i think i might have that upside down i do let's do that and the way it works is you have a stack of cards down in the middle and your first player draws a card and he looks at it and he looks at the thing and he goes, this is a cockroach. And he passes it to another player. That player can then take it, look at it. Well, actually, the player has two choices there. He can either take it and look at it, declare whether it is or is not a cockroach. Um, so he might go, oh, this is not a cockroach. And then he'll pass it to somebody else. The other option you have is to say, I don't believe you. You pick it up, you look at it. If they were telling the truth, you get the card in front of you. If, however, they were lying, they get the card. The first person who gets four matching insects, animals, whatever, um, loses and everybody else wins. So you don't want these cards in front of you. So you're trying to, to get people to pick them up, not believing you when you're telling the truth. Um, and you can pass as long as people haven't seen the card. So you can... You can pass as, you know, if you're the last person, you're going to have to to pick it up. And or you're going to have to make a decision whether or not you you believe. Me. You can say, sorry, I am messing this up. You can say, I believe you or I don't believe you. So you have choices on, on how you want to handle that. And then if you're right, then they get the card. If you're wrong, then you get the card. Um, and like I said, it's it's a it's a one one loses, everybody else wins game. So... Um, it plays really quick. Um, when we sit down and play this game, we play it multiple times. It's never just a one-off um, game of this. But yeah, it's um, Cockroach Poker by uh, Madigo. Uh, is it Madigo? No, it is not Madigo. It is... I'm not sure. That's their logo. Oh, gosh. I'm having all kinds of problems today, guys. Just dropped the whole thing. Not there. But I'll link the, the Board Game Geek. I always link the Board Game Geek. And usually there's a there's a how to buy link off of that where it'll link to some of the board game online stores and Amazon. And, um, you know, they always have a marketplace too. So if it, you can sometimes buy used games through them as well. So, yeah, that is Cockroach Poker. That is my game of the week. Um, I will next week hopefully have a... A whip parade for you. Um, I have a few pieces that I haven't touched since I picked cross stitching back up. I'm kind of hoping over the next week to to um, put a few stitches in them so I can at least say I've touched all of my projects in the past year um, or three months or however long. I think I, I started back in October, so it hasn't been that long. Um, so yeah, I will hopefully have a whip parade for you next week and have some hopeful good progress on some of these projects I'm working on to show you as well. Um, until then, I hope that you, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, until then, I hope you have a, a great time and I will see you then.